Hello everyone, this is a short tutorial on how to load your boudoir tones brushes into your Lightroom Classic. The first thing you do is you go into Lightroom Preferences and make sure you have selected Show all other Lightroom presets. Then the Adobe folder opens. You go on Adobe, on Lightroom, click on Lightroom, and then you find the local adjustment presets folder. In here, you are loading your Lightroom brushes. So you're going to go and find your Lightroom brushes and you can either drag them in there but then you lose them in your folder or you just copy paste the brushes into that folder. So you are going to go Command C on a Mac, Command C on a Mac and to drop them in you go Command V. So there you have all of your brushes in your Lightroom. Then you're going to go and close Lightroom and open it back up and see if they are in there. So now we are back in Lightroom and we're going to go look if all the brushes loaded. So we're going into our brushes right here, click on them and at the effect you can see all of the brushes that loaded into your Lightroom. You got the blush, the blush for darker skin tones, highlight extreme highlighter, illuminate skin tones, illuminate for darker skin tones, pretty eyes, skin so soft, skin so soft light. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I use the skin so soft brush. I'm going to reset this photo and let's click on done and just pull up the exposure a little bit and we will apply a preset from the boudoir tones, um, some of them have lots of luminance in them to make your skin creamy, but some of them have grain or no luminance. So we're going to go to XO Jasmine. That one has grain in it, but I'm going to turn off the grain. So I'm going to turn that off to show you how I use the brush. So I'm going to go first, change my white balance and make the photo a little bit warmer. Then I'm going to go into my brush right here and I'm in the Skin So Soft brush. You can see here all the settings. You can change the settings as you please. Make sure you have the density up. You can always change it later. And Auto Mask selected. And then you just start brushing onto the skin where you want the skin softer. And you can see that it's softening the skin everywhere you brush over. And then you go on Show Selected Mask Overlay you can see exactly where you're brushing. And then you can go um, onto another brush. Let's get to the blush and just over the skin tone, put a little bit of blush in it. I'm just going to leave it extreme so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And then you can change all the settings here. You can pull down the exposure of that blush a little bit, pull it up. You can do the same with a Skin So Soft brush. Um, you can pull down density and pull it up and that's basically how you do it. Let's click done, see what I did and let's pull some vibrance and saturation into this photo, kind of like that. And that's basically it, before and after. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me, I'm always here for you.